Shalom, Yashallah. Peace, Israel. Okay. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, and double honors to our elder apostles and our elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings to the sincere Akim out there. Okay. And to the Akwat that uh, may be listening, trying to do what's right. Peace and blessings unto you also. This is the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. And um, I wanted to go back and touch on this uh, something that uh, Elder Brother has said, okay, in a lesson, the uh, Elder Yasha Wamba from uh, Dallas, Salakia, damn, Neil, um, and he brought out, uh, he, well, what he said was the focus is prophecy. Okay, and we see the times that we're living in, okay, um, all the things that are, are taking place and, and things are, are progressively heightening, okay, things are progressively getting worse, okay, uh, prophecies are, are just compiled one on top of the other, okay, because the vision is speaking, okay, these signs are coming to pass, all right. And um, let me just go into 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 37. It says, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Okay. We are commanded to prophesy. Okay. It's not a choice. Okay. Even, you know, let me jump up a, a, a few verses. To verse uh, 32 it says this is 1st Corinthians 14 and 32 and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets mean meaning they have men that are prophets have no choice but to be prophets that's the spirit that's in them okay and we brought out uh, you know before I formed thee I knew thee before I formed thee in the womb I knew thee and ordain thee, okay? Roughly paraphrasing. We the, the the spirits that have been prophesying all throughout history are gonna come right back and do the same thing, okay? So damn, I should have cut that. That's okay. That's okay. That's just Babylonian news. Alright, um uh, so let me drop down back to 37 it says first corinthians 14 and 37 if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual let him acknowledge that the things that i write unto you are commandments of the lord okay for example matter of fact let's just get a, a few scriptures all right let's go to the book of ezekiel let's see let's find there's, there's plenty of them okay Let's go to Ezekiel. Uh, now I'll come back to that. All right. Uh, here's one, a good one. Uh, Ezekiel 13 and uh, 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel. Okay, I'm going to stop right there just to prove the point. It says, and the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel. Okay? It didn't say if you feel like it or, you know, when it's convenient for you. Okay? Or, you know, it's optional. It's not an option. Okay? This is a commandment. Okay? That when we un get this understanding, all right? That we are to go out and prophesy, okay? We are to 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 preach this word, okay? Um, let's get another one. Hell, we could stay in Ezekiel, okay? Uh, that's a good one. Ezekiel two, Ezekiel three, okay? Um. Matter of fact, let's go to Ezekiel 33. All right, let's see what that say. 
Uh, yeah, this is Ezekiel 33, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the children of thy people, and say unto them, okay, this is a commandment. When I bring the sword upon the land, okay, the sword hadn't came. The Lord is saying, when I bring it, okay? So this is a, a beforehand thing, all right? This is what I'm going to do. So you need to go tell them that I'm going to bring the sword, okay? Get your act together because the Heavenly Father is going to bring this sword. He's, he's commanded me to go out and tell y'all tell before it's happened. Children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, and the brothers and sisters that understand this word that look like the other nations because we've been scattered. Okay? This is a spiritual thing. All right? It says, Son of man, this is verse Ezekiel 33 and 2, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see it, the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Okay? He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. Okay? But it's still our job to go out and prophesy and let our people know the things that are to come, whether they will heal, whether they will forbear. As it says in, in, in Ezekiel, the uh, back in the second chapter, for they are a rebellious house, okay? Um, back in Ezekiel 33 and 5, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come, all right, and we see the sword coming, we know the signs to look for, okay, through the understanding of these words in these in this book through the understanding of these scriptures all right we're those watchmen if we see the sword come and blow not the trumpet if we don't prophesy if we don't give the warning to our people and the people be not warned if the sword come if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. You see? So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, which we've done. We've heard the word through the preaching, through the prophesying. Okay? Romans, the 10th chapter. All right? Um... Uh, I was going to, I ain't going, I'm not going to get it, okay? Uh, it says, Ezekiel 33 and 7, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman, this is our job, unto the house of Israel, to our nation. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. You see? When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way that wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will i require at thine hand nevertheless if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it if he do not turn from his way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul you see so this is a commandment that we prophesy okay and give warning to our people all right so let's go back to first corinthians 14 I think it was a little more I want to get out of there all right let's get it let's get it first Corinthians 14 who was that? 14 and uh let's do that 14 and uh 37 again if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual let him acknowledge that the things that are right unto you are the commandments of the Lord see these are this we're commanded to do this all right but if any man be ignorant let him be ignorant wherefore well, brethren covet to prophesy okay covet to prophesy let's get the word covet here we are 
C O V E T. Coveted, covet to desire or wish for in order in or inordinately. Um much desired, much sought after. Alright, let's just click on it. Alright, um covet desire lust after so we're to covet desire all right eagerness ambition passionate towards prophecy all right this is a book of prophecy okay prophecy law statutes and commandments okay is all entailed in this book all right and it's also a commandment that we prophesy once we get this understanding all right, we are not to hide our talent in a napkin. All right, when our Lord return, he he won't he won't uh he want to see that that penny has gained. Okay, we can't just hide this uh this candle under under a bushel. All right, we're commanded to do this. All right, uh, First Corinthians fourteen and thirty nine. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. All right. So, that's our job. We're commanded to go and prophesy. All right, to the world. Okay. Um, let's get a few scriptures. Okay. Try not to be too long. All right. Um. Uh, I got some scriptures wrote down. I know I won't be able to get to all of these. I guess a nice little list, so I'll just try to go through. Let's start it. Uh, matter of fact, I can just pull it up on my phone. Let's go to Second Esdras 15, and we'll start at one. Second Esdras 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Covet to prophesy. Okay, preach. Okay, those words are synonymous. Okay, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. See, the mo these are the most highest words that we're, we're telling you what thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai before it takes place. This is our job. These are the we're commanded to do this. All right, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Remember them rebellious children, Ezekiel 3. All right. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity or unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful, the, all the non-believers shall die in their unfaithfulness. See, these prophecies are supposed to build faith. OK. Um, yesterday, that same elder had sent me a, 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 a video of the brothers up there in New York and in Chicago which brothers have done lessons on it now with the uh with with, with the chariots scattered all throughout the sky even the elder apostle to did a video on it you know and it was just, man i <laughs> i was fighting not to cry you know which ain't nothing wrong with that you know of a few tears dropped that's all right you know sometimes you get tired of crying man you know but it was tears of joy all right Pretty soon we won't be crying like this no more, you know. But it will, it was, I will say, tears of joy. So it ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? We sign, we cry, you know. Literally cry, and we cry unto the Most High, you know. We 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 cry out to Him, you know. We speak out to the Heavenly Father about all the things that are wrong with this world, and for Him to please send His Son to deliver us out of this evil, man. All right. How was Shah now? All right. Um, so let me go back into this. Um, is Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Hey, Israel. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, is going to bring more plagues upon this world. He's already plaguing this world. This COVID-19 is a plague. All right. All of every, you know, it is plaguing the earth. Okay. It says, 
and his plagues, plural. So there's more to come. It's just, this just the tip of the iceberg. That's just the tip of this hit iceberg. Okay. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, the modern day sword is the is, is Esau's weapons. Okay. The sword, famine, a lack of food, and a lack of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Death. Plenty of death coming. Oh, it's so much death coming. And destruction. Just had a little, a little good little example of destruction and death. And <laughs> all of this right there in Beirut. Okay? Just a little smidgen, just a little taste, a little, a little pre preview. You know, you go watch them, you want to know what a movie is gonna be about, you go watch the previews. That was a little 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 five, six second preview. Okay. It says for the wickedness, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. <laughs> there ain't no denying that. Anybody that try to deny that, boy, you are so sleep, comatose, lost deep down in the bottom of the basement of the matrix. Okay? You can't be woke. It says, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted wickedness pollutes man okay pollution is anti-life all right for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled therefore said the lord i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit esau edom starting with the elites Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me continually, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. And that's a whole lesson within itself. Okay. So let's let's keep let's continue on. All right. Matter of fact, since you know this came out. The Lord said he's going to bring a sword upon the world. Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is going to return. And matter of fact, let's do this. Let's go right here. Let's see what this say in the red letter. Okay. This when the Lord get back. Because he even goes as far as saying in the book of Luke. And I'll just get that in my scripture. Uh, I think it's the 12th chapter. All right. Let me make sure. Let me check. Let me check that. Yes, sir. This is St. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. I came not to send peace but a sword. Hey, our Lord and Savior is returning. To destroy get right repent ain't that what the lord matter of fact let's do this let's do this just put that in oh boy all right let's go straight to this let's go to saint matthew 4 and 17 uh I'm going to go straight to the point. Say Matthew 4 and 17. From that time, Yahweh shall begin to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. So, hey, he was preaching. He was prophesying. All right. And then when you go down, this one, he started calling his disciples to do the same thing. Okay. You see in verse 19, matter of fact, let me read on this. Uh, 18. It says, Yahweh shall walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren. Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother cast in a net into the sea for they were fishers and he said unto them follow me and I will make you fishers of men how do you do that 
and they straightway left their nets and followed him. Okay. How you do that is by preaching, prophesying. Okay. Casting out this word, which is the net and pulling them in. All right. You throw away the, the abominable and you keep the good. Okay. The good fish. All right. Or the good men, rather, which ultimately the ones that are going to remain in that net and, you know, are the elect. Okay. And that's what this is all about. Prophesying, preaching. Okay. And ultimately building up the elect through these through the, through the preaching of the word okay through prophesying all right um so repent get right now before the lord do return and do this which what he said think not that i am come to send peace on earth saint matthew 10 and 34 i came not to send peace but a sword all right so let's go on all right uh we have to give warning to our people all right or else we're going to be responsible for them as we read in the book of ezekiel the 33rd chapter all right uh hey matter of fact let's bring this out let's go to revelation all right, because this is something we have to warn about also. That's about to come. It's here, but it's about to be fully implemented. And this is the book of Revelation 13 to 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, karagma, to insert a cut in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. It's talking about the microchip, man. The mark of the beast. Okay? We have to prophesy about that. Hey, they finna fully implement that chip. Don't take that chip. We have to give that warning through prophecy. Through prophesying. Salaki, okay? Or else that their blood is gonna be on our hands. Okay. Um let's see. Let's just oh Salaki. Let me grab my apocrypha. All right. Uh, uh, you know what? I want to go back to that. Uh, now I can just do it in, in on this. Salakia. It's in the green. Second edge is 15. All right. Uh. Where was it? You know what? Let me, let me do this. Because I want to bring this out. Now, more than likely, it'll, I'll end it right here. Yep, that's where it was. Second Ezra 9. I'm going to start at verse 1. And uh, we'll end it on this, you know. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which we've seen parts of the signs pass. Okay? Part is some of it. It didn't say whole, it said part. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to check something out real quick. Let's learn together. <laughs> Just teasing. Let's build. All right. Boy, that ain't nothing but Satan. Oh, boy. Let's put in the word part. Crap. My word. Uh, here we go. Part. Come on, internet. Division. Portion. A portion of a whole. And that's, I mean, that's it. It's a portion of a whole. So when you see, and when thou seest part, a portion of that whole, whole what? The whole thing, the whole, all of the prophecies, okay? When thou seest part of the signs pass, 
which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, bam, and uproars of the people, bam, in the world, then shalt, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, they were prophesied from the past, okay? Even from the beginning. See there? All of, we could go to, to uh, Genesis the 49th chapter. How'd that start? Or is it Exodus? Let me make sure. Let me check. Let me check that. Genesis 49 and 1. I'm going to start at 1. And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So he was telling them what was going to come in the end. He was prophesying to his sons. Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes. His name was changed to Israel. The Israelites. Okay. Second Israel 9 and 5. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end. Everything got a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Let's get that word manifest. Manifest. What does it mean? Certified. Yeah, a manifest. When you, because I've worked in warehouses a large uh, portion of my, you know, during my labors. Okay. I've worked in uh, warehouses. You get a, a shipment come in. You check that manifest. All right. To see what 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 was to certify the ship's cargo. All right. Um, <laughs> manifest clearly, unmistakably, evidently, clearly revealed to the eye or the understanding. Let's go back. The end is made clear. All right. Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory again to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah HaKodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone or GMS. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right. If you understand this word, get out there and prophesy. All right. If that be your lot, you know where to prophesy. Okay. And not hide our talents in a napkin this is a commandment all right and the focus is prophecy we are living in those times all right we're at the end it's on to the next one until then i say shallow warm